I'm just doing a video on an ultimate fix for short cycling. Um, I've experienced this more with these Japanese Fujitsu's, not so much the Chinese units. I've installed a couple of scene bills. They seem to work very well maintaining temperature, not cycling. But these Fujitsu, this is a 12 or 15 RLS 3H, they're extremely powerful, so they have a hard time uh, maintaining temperature. They would always turn on and off, not in a 30 or 40 degree temperature, but even 5, 10 degrees outside when it's, you know, you're requiring 60, 70% load from the unit. It would still turn on and off and cycle at full load and then turn off, on, off. So right now, um, I mean, this is a cob job because I'm testing. So as you can see, got a wire coming out. And that's the original thermostat. What you do is make sure you cut the breaker off. You have to turn off the breaker. The first time I did this, I burned out my computer. Learned the hard way, a couple hundred dollars. So don't turn the unit off. You have to physically turn the breaker off. So there's just two wires for your thermostat. Take your cover off. It's going to be 20 or 30 bolts. Take the whole cover off the inside unit. Pull that thermostat out and take regular two wire thermostat wire from Lowe's. I mean, it's a hard copper wire and run this line. As you can see, I just ran it a good six, seven feet away from my unit. And this is a meter. Right now it's 10 degrees. I'll show you 10 degrees. So right now it's pulling 1.4 kilowatts. Oh, I just jumped up to one degree. It was zero degrees uh, pretty much all night long. So with this setup, I mean, that's going to get all routed either in the wall or it's going to go down on the floor and come up next to the couch. Um, completely fixed as a cycling issue with this. It's 10 degrees. And instead of going to 2.53 kilowatts for three, two minutes and then shutting off for two minutes and turning on again, it'll run almost con constantly i won't say 100 percent, but it'll run for it depends it could be from 10 minutes to half an hour before it will actually shut off for maybe about two minutes and then it turns back on and finds its sweet spot as it's warmer it'll you know turn itself down to one kilowatt or 0.8 kilowatts but it basically what i'm saying is it will run very very continuous with this the only other option around this would be to get a interface kit, which is $100 from Fujitsu, and a $250 wall thermostat, which I think is very dumb and wrong that Fujitsu is giving you this as an only option. You know, $350 in order to have a wall thermostat. With this setup, $10 wire from Lowe's, make sure you pull the breaker. So that wire is going to be right up in the top right corner, the thermostat wire. Snip it off. Connect it, extend it at least six, seven feet away from the unit. And I, I mean, obviously I'm gonna take a thermostat, let's say box or a meter for 10 or 20 bucks on Lowe's and put that in there. So that's all inside of the unit. So you're not, you know, just not seeing a thermosistor on the wall, but completely fixes the short cycling. So you're getting better efficiency, longer life for the unit because it's not turning on and off all the time. Electronics do not like to cycle and better comfort you're constantly getting a nice flow of warm air versus on, off, on, off, on, off continuously. So this is the DIY method to fix short cycling and mini splits. If anybody's interested, this is gonna cost you $10 and fix a lot of headaches. I did this for my other unit, I have a unit upstairs. That blows, you guys won't tell, but basically up into a hallway and then I have a hallway going this way into four bedrooms. And that blows into four bedrooms and I have the thermostat in one of the bedrooms. And that'll run all day long at two, three, four, five, six hundred watts continuously.